Hey everyone, my name is David Danielson and I'm an Ansible Automation Architect here at Red Hat's Professional Services. Today I'm going to quickly demonstrate how you can manage your Ansible Automation platform with Configuration as Code and how more specifically you can use it to manage multiple clusters at once. So here we have two different uh, instances of just single node hybrid controller instances and we're going to launch our first playbook that is running in controller configuration dispatch role, which looks at all our variables, which it's our, we're bringing in with our group vars, and it will create the objects based off of which variables we have over in our group vars. So for instance, we have our controller projects. Here we have two projects. We have our config as code and our lab. And we can see that it's assigned to the organization of config as code, you know, our URL to GitHub, and things like uh, update on launch are also here. Uh, we also have our inventory. We have a uh, config as code, lab, and localhost inventories. This is what our actual inventory file looks like. As you can see, this one, all the hosts have the same IP address, and that's because we're for this site, we are using the containerized AAP deployment, while this site is the more standard VM deployment that has multiple different VMs that uh, do for our controller, our automation hub, our EDA controller, and our database. So we just finished deploying the configuration to site one, and so we will go take a look at that while we configure site two. So we go back to site one, we can go to like job templates and see that we now have uh, 12 different job templates here and that are all configured. We also have all our credentials, our projects, and our inventory, and we even have an inventory source set up. Let's go check on how things are going over here. So speaking of credentials, we have our credentials here now. And for this demo, we just have all our credentials in a password vault file here one for each of our sites. But you know you can configure this to use credential input sources from CyberArk or HashiCorp Vault and be able to pull your passwords in through that as well and manage them from a central location. And uh, you know here's all our job templates that we saw in that a controller instance. So now let's jump back over to our second instance here and take a look. And here we also have there are 12 job templates and our credentials and uh, projects. So if you're interested in learning more about the biggest code for AP, we have some links for the to the validated uh, collections that are used for configuring the platform as well as we'll also have a link to some self-paced lab to help take you step-by-step step in learning how to write the config as code for AAP. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Ansible content.